in this uh, video i am going to talk about the electronic spectroscopy electronic spectroscopy okay by electronic spectroscopy you can guess how this spectroscopy technique will work it is due to the excitation of electrons from the lower state to the higher state so the electronic spectroscopy can be of the atoms atoms because in atoms we can see the electrons in the orbitals and the orbitals will have a particular energy so one electron in a particular orbital can make an excitation to the higher orbital and that will give a spectra and in the same way you can observe the electronic spectroscopy in molecules also molecules because in molecules the electrons are residing in the molecular orbitals unlike in the case of atoms you know in the case of atoms the electrons are residing in the atomic orbitals but in the molecular or molecules the mo electrons are residing in the molecular orbitals so an electron residing in a particular molecular orbital can absorb energy and make an excitation or make a transition to the higher molecular orbital and that will give rise to the electronic spectroscopy of the molecule okay and in this um, lecture we are going to deal with the electronic spectroscopy given by molecules not by atoms okay you have already learned the spectra of atoms especially in the case of the hydrogen atom you know that there are electronic excitation from the lower atomic orbital to higher atomic orbital and here in the case of molecule the scenario is a little bit more different than in the case of atomic orbitals okay so here we will be discussing on the molecular or we will be discussing on the electronic spectroscopy of molecules and to begin with we will be we will start with the molecule the electronic spectroscopy of uh, diatomic molecules diatomic molecules okay because that will give the simplest uh, uh, treatment and therefore it will be easier to understand that is why we are starting with the diatomic molecules and i already said that the electronic spectroscopy of molecules that is uh, the electronic spectrum originates because of the transitions of the electrons from the molecular one molecular orbital to the higher molecular orbital so it means that in if you are considering a molecule that molecule will have electronic energy electronic energy electronic energy and this electronic energy is due to or the electronic energy is is nothing but the energy of the electrons are occupying different energy levels okay you already know that a molecule will have a, a rotational energy rotational energy this is due to the rotation of the molecules in different energy states and the molecule may have the vibrational energy vibrational energy and that is due to the different vibrational states of the molecule the molecule will be vibrating in different states and the same way the molecule will have electronic energy and this electronic energy is due to the occupancy of the electrons in different energy states or in different molecular orbitals okay so a molecule which is in a particular electronic energy state can jump to the next higher electronic energy state and in order to happen that in order, in order for that to happen um, the electrons should make a transition from one molecular orbital to the another molecular orbital so this electronic energy of the molecule let me call this as uh, e electronic the vibration rotation energy you know already you know the designation of the rotation energy that is e rotational and the designation of the vibration energy is y e vibration okay so whenever you are taking a molecule 
and this molecule will have e electronic that is the electronic energy that molecule will have e vibration that is the vibrational energy and it will have e rotational that is the rotational energy so what will be the total energy of the molecule total energy of the molecule the total energy of the molecule will be contributed by all these different kinds of energy the electronic energy vibrational energy rotational energy okay so we cannot uh, just say that it is uh, the the sum of electronic energy plus vibration energy and the rotation we cannot just say like that because the electronic energy will be affected by the vibrational energy and it will be affected by the rotational energy okay so it means that all these energies are interconnected or it means that these energies are determined by one of these particular energy will be determined by the other energy as well okay or when a molecule is residing in a particular electronic energy state and that will be decided by its vibration energy state and also its rotation energy state so they are interconnected so it is not wise to take just the arithmetic sum of all these energies like e electronic plus e vibrational plus e rotational because uh, these are not independent but if we are thinking that uh, these are dependent and there are some terms uh, which determine the dependency of each electronic each energies okay then the calculations will be complicated so in order to make the calculation easy we can take an approximation that approximation is e total that is the total energy is equal to e electronic plus e vibrational plus e rotational this is not true okay because these energy states are not just not independent they are depending each other therefore this is just an approximation that is not a true case but this approximation is giving decent results for us okay and therefore it is okay to take this approximation because we will get a decent results by taking this approximation as well in some cases this approximation will lead to bad results and that we will learn later but at the moment this approximation uh, will give us some good results so we will adopt this approximation this approximation is nothing but you already know it is born oppenheimer approximation born oppenheimer approximation born oppenheimer approximation born max born was uh, uh, he was a student and then become became professor at the university of gottingen in germany and uh, the oppenheimer was his student and this born oppenheimer approximation is very famous in quantum mechanics and this approximation makes uh, many calculations very 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 easy okay so we are taking this approximation as well so in at this moment i have to say that in in many uh, textbooks okay uh, perhaps this born approx born oppenheimer approximation is misinterpreted it is just like uh, in some textbooks i have seen born oppenheimer approximation is stated like e total is equal to e electronic plus e vibrational plus e rotation and e rotation is very very less therefore we can take e electronic plus e vibration that is born oppenheimer approximation like that it is written okay that is not born oppenheimer approximation actually born oppenheimer approximation is, uh, uh, is it, 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 it says that the electronic energy vibration energy and rotation energy are independent that is just an approximation actually they are not independent they are dependent but we consider this as independent and that is what is called born oppenheimer approximation okay so you will learn this born oppenheimer approximation in detail in the semester 3 quantum mechanics okay uh, so for the moment you can just uh, um, understand this born oppenheimer approximation as the the different energies uh, energies are independent of each other okay so we can take the arithmetic sum of the different uh, 
energy terms and that will lead to the total energy okay that is born oppenheimer approximation and uh, uh, now we know that the total energy of the molecule is e electronic plus e vibrational plus e rotational so when a molecule is uh, making an electronic transition that electronic transition will be accompanied by a vibrational transition and that vibrational transition will be accompanied by a rotational transition also okay so the change in the energy change in the total energy that is delta e delta e total okay change in the total energy will be equal to delta e electronic plus delta e vibrational plus delta e rotational okay so that is the change in the energy so this change in energy is uh, expressed in joules and uh, this is our that is a convention that we are following in this entire spectroscopy module that if we are writing e in this way then it is represented in joule okay so if you want to represent this energy in centimeter inverse then we will change our notation that is delta e here we are taking epsilon total okay this means that the difference in energy is expressed in centimeter inverse that is why the, ch the notation is changed to epsilon okay so delta epsilon total is equal to uh, delta epsilon electronic plus delta epsilon vibrational plus delta epsilon rotational okay so this is in centimeter inverse so the energy here is expressed in centimeter inverse that is a um, convention in spectroscopy to express energy in centimeter inverse okay and uh, now we know how the total energy is determined in order to determine the total energy change during a transition we have to consider the total energy change of the electronic transition the energy change of the electronic transition energy change of the vibrational transition and energy change of the rotational transition now let us uh, let us calculate what is the order of the magnitude of this delta e delta e electronic delta e vibration and delta e rotation what is the order of magnitude so if we are considering the order of magnitude of these different energy differences okay we can see that delta epsilon electronic is approximately equal to delta electronic delta epsilon vibrational into 10 raised to 3 means uh, whatever may be the energy difference between the vibrational states okay whatever may be the energy difference between the vibrational states and th th that value multiplied by 10 raised to 3 or 1000 times that value will be equal to the delta E electronic it means that the energy difference between the electronic states in a molecule Will, will be much much larger than the energy difference between the vibrational states okay so electronic energy levels are uh, packed so apart okay the vibrational energy levels are packed uh, much closer that is it's a diff that is it's a meaning okay and uh, therefore e delta e electronic is approximately equal to delta e vibration to 10 to 3 and if you are checking the relation between the delta e electronic and uh, delta e rotational delta e rotational okay then delta e rotational multiplied by 10 raised to 6 that will be equal to delta e electronic okay so whatever may be the the energy difference between two successive rotational levels that energy difference multiplied by a lar large number okay big number that is 10 raised to 6 that will be equal to the energy difference between two successive electronic states okay so that is the relation between these energy differences so it means that in order for a molecule to make an electronic transition it has to absorb some radiation that radiation say energy should be much much higher than the energy required for a vibrational transition 
and that is much 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 higher than the energy required for a rotational transition in the molecule that is the meaning of this uh, relation okay so it again implicates something else you know that the energy difference between the electronic state electronic states are very very large okay so if you consider this electronics uh, this energy difference is very 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 large okay this is a very large distance that is delta i electronic it's a very large distance okay very large separation between the two energy states and compared to that the energy states between the vibrational levels are much much less okay so the molecule is residing in a particular electronic state here so let me call this as e double prime okay let me call this as e prime okay in spectroscopy we are using single prime for the upper state and a double prime for the lower state okay so you have already learned that so in the de double prime state um, if the molecule is uh, absorbing some large amount of uh, uh, energy in form in the form of radiation then that molecule can excite to another uh, electronic uh, state that is e single prime and i said that the vibrational energy levels are packed much closer compared to this therefore within each electronic state okay there will be a number of vibrational states there will be a number of vibrational states so these are vibrational states within this electronic states and like that there will be vibrational state within this electronic state also like that okay so in each electronic states there will be a number of vibrational states and this is the difference between the vibrational states okay that is delta e vibrational and that delta e vibrational is much less compared to this energy difference that is what this uh, equation shows okay and this equation again says that the vibrational energy levels the difference between vibrational energy levels are much less than the difference between the rotation energy levels so within each vibrational energy level there will be so many rotational energy levels also like this okay so within each vibration level so we can consider so many rotational levels here okay and that rotational energy levels are much uh, closer and the vibrate the, the the whatever may be the the difference between the rotation energy levels and that difference it's a very small difference between two successive rotation levels okay and that difference multiplied by 6 times will give this difference between the electronic states that is what this equation shows so there will be a number of vibrational states within each electronic state and within that there will be a number of rotational states also okay so whenever you are considering a molecule a molecule uh, sitting in a particular electronic state in that electronic state it will have a number of vibrational states and within that vibrational state it will have a particular uh, it will have a number of rotational states as well so molecule can reside in a in variety of uh, ways okay within each electronic state it can it can uh, reside in a variety of ways by choosing between different possible vibrational states and the rotational states okay that is what we have to understand from here so what does it mean when there is an electronic transition okay and that electronic transition will be accompanied by a vibrational transition also so the electronic transition can happen from here to here that is the transition from epsilon double prime to epsilon prime the electronic vibration can happen from here to here that is also a vibrational that is also an electronic transition but that corresponds to a different vibrational transition and the e double prime to e prime transition can happen from from here to here okay within this there are so many rotation levels so here we are considering a electronic state e double prime within that there is a vibrational state and within that there is a rotational state and then it have then it make a transition to the next higher electronic state within that there is a vibrational state within that there is a rotational state 
So even if all the transitions, all these transitions are between two electronic states, there will be a number of different vibrational changes and different uh, rotational changes. Okay. So each electronic transition will be accompanied by a vibrational transition and also a rotational transition. That is what I have to say. Each electronic transition will be accompanied by a vibrational transition and then a rotational transition. So when the electronic transitions are accompanied by the vibrational transition, what will be the result? We already learned in the vibration spectrum that when a vibrational transition is accompanied by a rotational transition also, you will get a fine structure, right? You saw the rotational vibrational fine structure. Okay, so the vibrational transition, a particular vibrational transition is split into several lines. This is because of the rotational transition within. Like that, when there is an electronic transition and that electronic transition is accompanied by the vibrational transition. So each electronic transition will be split into a number of vibrational transitions and that each vibrational transition will be split into a number of rotational transition. The splitting due to the vibrational transition or the number of lines appearing due to the vibrational transition within each electronic transition that is called the vibrational core structure of the electronic electronic spectrum. Okay, so when we are taking an electronic spectrum, within that electronic spectrum we will get a vibrational vibrational core structure core structure. Okay, vibrational core structure means the electronic transition is split into a number of lines due to the accompanying vibrational transition. That is what is called the vibrational chord structure of the electronic transition. Okay. So, we have electronic transition corresponding to get into one line. We have one body line that is split in the car. electronic transition is split in the car. vibrational transition is possible. And now, the each vibrational transition will be split into a number of rotational uh, uh, the rotational transition, right? Because when there is a particular vibrational transition accompanying with that vibrational transition, there will be a number of rotational transitions possible. So, such a fine structure is called a rotational fine structure. Rotational fine structure. Fine structure. So, when we are considering the electronic spectrum of a molecule, that electronic spectrum will consist of the vibrational core structure that is due to the accompanying vibrational transitions and that electronic spectrum will also consist of rotational fine structure this is because of the rotational transitions accompanying the vibrational transitions which are accompanying the electronic transition okay so we will have vibrational core structure and the rotational fine structure and one more thing to note here that is this delta e electronic okay this one this delta E electronic corresponds to the UV visible uh, region of the electromagnetic spectrum. And uh, you already know that delta E vibration, this one corresponds to the IR region of the electromagnetic spectrum. And the delta E rotational that corresponds to the uh, microwave region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. So the energy of the microwave. Uh, uh, microwave radiation is less than the energy of the IR radiation which is less than the energy of the UV visible radiation. So when there is uh, an electronic transition that electronic transition will be accompanied by an abs uh, accompanied by absorbing UV radiation or visible radiation in the electromagnetic spectrum. So if the molecule is absorbing some radiation in the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum what will happen and that will lead to the color of the mo of the compound now we are going to consider which molecules are going to give electronic spectra we have already seen that in the case of the rotational spectrum the condition is that the molecule should be a permanent magnet permanent magnet or uh, sorry permanent dipole okay sorry 
the molecule should be a permanent dipole permanent dipole then only it will give rise to the uh, rotational spectrum rotational spectrum okay that is the condition rotational spectrum so the molecule should have a permanent dipole moment if the molecule lacks the permanent dipole moment that will not give the rotation spectrum that is why we saw that the molecules like n2 or the molecule like o2 they don't have permanent dipole or h2 they don't have permanent dipole moment so these molecules will never give the rotational spectrum they will not give rotational spectrum okay and uh, when we learned the vibrational spectrum we saw the condition that the vibrational vibrational mode or a vibration should be accompanied by a change in the dipole moment okay that was the condition a change in dipole moment change in dipole moment accompanied by a vibrational mode that is the condition for the vibrational spectrum vibrational spectrum okay so whether the diatomic molecules like n2 o2 h2 can give a vibration spectrum no this these will not give vibration spectrum because the only vibration present in the diatomic molecule are stretching vibrations okay these stretching vibrations will never give rise to a dipole moment change therefore n2 o2 uh, h2 etc these diatomic molecules homonuclear diatomic molecules will not give vibration spectrum so this also will not give a rotation spectrum these will not give vibration spectrum also okay and now what about the electronic spectrum the electronic spectrums in the case of electronic spectrum the condition is that the electronic excitation should accompany with, with the dipole moment change electronic excitation electronic excitation accompanied by accompanied by the dipole moment change dipole uh, dipole moment change okay that is the condition for electronic spectra electronic spectrum okay so in the case of electronic spectrum the electronic excitation should be electronic excitation should be accompanied by a dipole moment change or the electronic transition should be uh, accompanied by a dipole dipole moment change that is the condition for electronic spectroscopy so which molecule will give rise to a dipole moment change when there is an electronic excitation or when there is an electronic transition actually all molecules all molecules all molecules will give rise to a dipole moment change when there is an electronic transition this is because you know that in, mole in molecules electrons are occupying the molecular orbitals right electrons are occupying the molecular orbitals and the molecular orbitals will have the orientational nature Mole molecular orbitals will have the orientational nature so the electrons are actually distributed in these uh, molecular orbitals and these molecular orbitals will have particular directions in space as well okay so when these electrons are rearranged between different orbitals okay now these electrons are arranged in this set of orbitals and when these or these electrons are arranged in another set of orbitals obviously there will be there will be a change in the electronic distribution around the molecule right so there will be a particular electronic distribution around the first molecule before excitation and after the excitation excitation means there is an electronic transition to another orbital okay so when the electrons are changing the orbital the electronic charge cloud around the molecule will change its orientation and it means that the dipole moment is changing dipole moment is a vector okay it's a vector quantity it has magnitude as well as direction so when there is an electronic rearrangement within the molecule that will always that will always lead to a dipole moment change no matter whether it is a diatomic molecule homonuclear heteronuclear or polynuclear in all cases 
an electronic excitation or electronic transition will give rise to a dipole moment change therefore all molecules can give electronic spectrum therefore in the case of electronic spectrum n2 o2 h2 these are the examples we already considered here right so if we are considering these examples here in the case of electronic spectroscopy these molecules can also give electronic spectrum because there will be a, a change in the trans the change in the electronic occupancy during the electronic transition and that change in electronic occupancy will lead to a dipole moment change therefore all molecules can give electronic spectrum so this is a blessing actually okay so these are not giving the vibration spectrum these molecules will not give vibration spectrum these molecule will not give rotational spectrum also it doesn't mean that these molecules are vibrating so nitrogen vibration spectrum tharundilla nu parayanjal nitrogen athu vibration illa nalla artham nitrogen athu stretching vibration undu oxygen lum hydrogen lum okke stretching vibration undu alle molecules eppum vibrate cheyidittirikka pakshe adin electromagnetic radiation absorb cheyidu ഹയർ വൈബ്രേഷൻ സ്റ്റേറ്റിലേക്ക് പോകാനുള്ള കഴിവില്ല എന്ന് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അത് വൈബ്രേഷണൽ സ്പെക്ട്രം തരാത്തത് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇതിനകത്ത് റൊട്ടേഷനിൽ ഇല്ല എന്നല്ല അർത്ഥം റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് കെ നോട്ട് ഇൻട്രാക്ട് വിത്ത് ഇലക്ട്രോൺ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് സ്പെക്ട്രം ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് ഗിവിങ് റൊട്ടേഷൻ സ്പെക്ട്രം സോ ദീസ് മോളിക്യൂൾസ് ഹാവ് റൊട്ടേഷൻ ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് വൈബ്രേഷൻ ബട്ട് വി കെ നോട്ട് വി കെ നോട്ട് എക്സ് വി കെ നോട്ട് എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ദ ഫിസിക്കൽ പരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ദ വൈബ്രേഷൻ ഓർ റൊട്ടേഷൻ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ വി കെ നോട്ട് we cannot harvest the physical parameters like vibrational frequency vibrational frequency omega bar e right or an harmonicity constant xc or um, rotational constant b okay these parameters we cannot extract from these molecules because these molecules vibration or rotation are not giving rise to a spectrum even if these vibrations and rotations are present there okay but these molecules can give rise to electronic spectrum and the electronic spectrum will be accompanied with a vibrational transition and rotational transition so whenever the molecule is undergoing an electronic transition that molecule will undergo a vibrational transition and also a rotational transition അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ വൈബ്രേഷൻ സ്പെക്ട്രോസ്കോപ്പിയുടെ ടെക്നിക്ക് ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ടോ റൊട്ടേഷൻ സ്പെക്ട്രോസ്കോപ്പിയുടെ ടെക്നിക്ക് ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ടോ നമുക്കൊരു വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസിഷനോ റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസിഷനോ നമുക്ക് നടത്താൻ കഴിഞ്ഞില്ല എങ്കിൽ കൂടിയും യൂസിങ് ദ ടെക്നിക് ഓഫ് ദി ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് സ്പെക്ട്രോസ്കോപ്പി വി ക്യാൻ മേക്ക് ദ വൈബ്രേഷണൽ ആൻഡ് റൊട്ടേഷണൽ ട്രാൻസിഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ അതിൽ നിന്ന് നമുക്ക് ഈ ഒമേഗ ബാറി എക്സ് സി ബി ഈ പരാമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഒക്കെ അതിൽ നിന്നും നമുക്ക് എക്സ്ട്രാക്ട് ചെയ്യാം so this is a good idea right even if vibrational spectrum and the rotation spectrum are not working to extract these parameters the electronic spectroscopy can be used to extract these parameters okay so it's a good good idea okay so these are the introductory things that you have to understand about the electronic spectroscopy and in the next class we will learn about the vibrational coil structure we already discussed in the previous slide about the vibrational coil structure and in the next class we will talk about the vibrational coil structure after that we will talk about the rotational fine structure after completely dealing with the coil structure we will go for the rotational fine structure okay so let us uh, concentrate on the vibrational coil structure in the next class okay so in this class i only discussed a certain things i said that the atoms and molecules can give electronic spectra uh, in the atoms it is due to the it is due to the electronic excitation between the atomic orbitals but in the case of molecular orbitals it is between the molecular orbitals in the case of molecules it is between the molecular orbitals okay and uh, the total energy of the molecule will be the sum of the electronic energy vibration energy and rotation energy it is not true case but it is an approximation and this approximation is called the born oppenheimer approximation and according to this approximation these energies are independent and that is why we are just taking the arithmetic sum of the different uh, electronic different uh, energy uh, terms okay and uh, then we were talking about the relative order of magnitude of this uh, different uh, types of uh, energies okay 
and we saw that the difference between the electronic states will be much much larger than the difference between the vibration states and it will be again much larger than the difference between the rotational energy states therefore an electronic transition within each electronic level there will be a number of vibrational levels and within that each within those vibration level there will be a number of rotational levels therefore an electronic transition will be accompanied by a vibrational transition and it will be again accompanied by a rotational transition also and due to that we will get uh, two types of structure in the electronic spectrum that is the vibrational coil structure that is due to the accompanying vibrational transitions and we will get a rotational fine structure and that is due to the accompanying rotational transitions okay then we were talking about which type of molecules can give rise to the electronic spectrum we saw that any electronic uh, transition in any molecule will give rise to a dipole moment change because of the difference in the distribution of the electrons around the molecule okay and therefore all electronic transitions are accompanied by a dipole moment change and therefore all molecules can give rise to electronic spectrum and then we saw the advantage of this phenomenon in the case of homonuclear diatomic molecules we cannot get to the rotation spectrum or vibration spectrum therefore we cannot extract the parameters related to the vibration or rotation but we can see that in the case of electronic spectrum there will be accompanying vibrational transition and accompanying rotational transition and from this one we can harvest the ideas the, the uh, harvest the information on the rotational constants and the vibrational constants okay or rotational parameters and vibrational parameters okay and in the next video we will talk about the vibrational coil structure i hope you understood this much and if you have any doubt please don't hesitate to ask thank you for watching and stay tuned